All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at yet another Pendulum XC monster. Where is my Pendulum Fusion monster? Like, I'm getting, I'm getting real impatient here. So uh, this guy is Adai's Raging Dragon. He's some Raging Tempest, so I'm guessing that he'll be the cover card of Raging Tempest. He's the Raging Dragon. Uh, I have no idea what he is in respect to the anime so far. I, he has not popped up, so it's another one of those cards where it's like, here's like the real card, and then you get it like maybe a little bit later in the anime, maybe next episode, maybe the episode after that. I'm not sure, but yeah, just another Pendulum XC monster. Except I don't know this guy's relation to anything. Like obviously, you know, Adai's Rebellion. It's like Adai's plus you know Dark Rebellion, but this I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll look at it is that uh, it'll probably have some similarities to um, uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion, and then we could compare the two, since they're really similar. So, Odd Eyes Raging Dragon. The card art looks interesting. He kind of looks like Odd Eyes, but then he kind of looks like he's fused with like some kind of insect. Like, he has mandibles and kind of bug wings. Like, okay. Like, I, I don't know what you fused him with, but sure. Uh, he is a Dark Dragon XC Pendulum Effect Monster, rank 7, Pendulum Scale 1, so at least his Pendulum Scale is fairly flexible. 3000 attack, 2500 defense, he's made with two level 7 Dragon type monsters, but I'm assuming similar to uh, Rebellion that you get the real bulk of his effect if you use uh, an XC monster as XC material to gain more of his effect. So let's go ahead and start off with his Pendulum Effect, so once per turn if you have no card no cards in your other pendulum zone, you can place one pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone. So that is pretty much word for word. That is exactly word for word of Adai's Rebellion's effect, except his scale is a little bit more flexible. Adai's Rebellion, remember, is pendulum scale 4, so you can go like, all right, activate my effect, put like Adai's Unicorn, and I can do 8 to 4, and that's pretty nice, but you can't, you know, do 4s. You, you can only do 5, 6, 7, and that's not as flexible as this guy who's 1. You put a, uh, you know, an Adai's Unicorn, and it's like, hey, I got my pendulum scales 2 through 7, like, let's go, you know? So I definitely say that this guy uh, is more flexible with the effect with the pendulum scale, but, I mean, they both have the same effects. I'm not uh, complaining there. Uh, they're both made the same exact way with uh, 2 level 7 uh, dragon type monsters, so uh, necessarily like that. So let's actually look at the effect. So you can pendulum summon level seven. If you can pendulum summon level seven, you can pendulum summon this card face up in your extra deck. Uh, so it kind of treats itself as a uh, as a uh, level monster, despite being a rank. I believe that's actually word for word off of Odd Eyes Rebellion as well. You can pendulum summon. The, yep, yep, yep. Straight word for word. So, so far, he doesn't have anything that makes him unique. Like, so far, I'm wondering, why the hell is this card made? So, uh, they actually even have the same exact stats, too. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. You know? They're both dark, they're both dragons, they're both, you know, Pendulum Xeen monsters. They both have the same two first effects, so, yeah. Um, next effect for Raging is, if this card is Xeen summoned by using an Xeen monster's Xeen material against its effect, so, of course, you use the Yang Shi and the other magician if you're using, uh, uh, Dark Rebellion, but you don't really need to do that. Like, really, all you need is uh, Yang Chi Magician, the, the light w one, because you pretty much just Pendulum Summon, like, three level seven dragons. You make two of them into Absolute, then you use him, make his level gain rank, and then you go into this. So you don't have to run that whole, like, adjust the level Pendulum scale, just the one where you make the rank the level. But uh, if you do that, if you do that, then you get two effects. Uh, the first effect is this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Okay, so that's a nice 6,000 direct damage. It doesn't even say that if you destroy a monster, you can attack again. It's just straight up. If, even if I'm getting direct attacks, then you're getting attacked twice. So, okay. And the second effect is once per turn, you can attach a material from this card, destroy as many cards your opponent controls as possible. Oh, so you mean all. Pretty much, like, unless there's something absolutely I don't want to destroy, pretty much all. And if you do, this card gains 200 attack for each card destroyed until the end of this turn. So pretty much, if I summon this guy and you have five cards on the field, I pop off five, I'm going to go 4,000, I'm going to attack you twice, that's a game. So, yeah, that's that's pretty powerful. Now, it, compared to Rebellion's effect, what does he do? When you summon him to experience, you destroy it as many level, uh, I can't really see that. I'm gonna guess the seven or lower monster your opponent controls. If like a thousand to your opponent for each card destroyed, and this card can make three attacks during the battle phase. 
Uh, okay, so this card's like Rebellion's like, hey, you summon me, you pop monsters who are level seven or lower. Hopefully, you pop enough, and I'm gonna attack three times. Now, this card's like, I'm gonna attack two times, but I'm gonna clear everything. So uh, they're good in their own ways. I think I'd have to give it to Raging Dragon because at least I get to pop everything, the pendant scales, the back row, everything, you know. And even if I don't get the job done in killing them, at least I popped everything. While, you know, Rebellions, I mean, yeah. Uh, Rebellion is like, hey, I pop monsters who are level 7 or lower. Uh, if you have XC monsters, they're not dead. You know, if you have monsters that are higher than this, then they're not dead. And while it's nice that I get to attack three times, I think that maybe attacking twice would be enough in exchange for popping everything in your field, your pendant skill, your back row. Because it's like, yeah, I get to attack three times and I attack them with some back row that, you know, if I would have went with Raging instead, I would have been able to pop. So I'm going to have to give it to Raging. I'm going to give it to Raging this time. Um, and then it has the generic effect that the same thing that uh, Rebellion has this card in the monster zone is destroy battle or by card effect you can place it in uh, your pendulum zone. So if you have your pendulum scales open then you pretty much get to slap it in there. Alright, so uh, like I said, I, it's pretty much another Rebellion except it's a little bit better, a little bit changed. Like, I don't even know why this card is made. I don't even know why this card will probably be the cover card. Like, like I said, where the fuck is my Pendulum Fusion Monster? That, that, that you know? Like, am I not getting a Pendulum Fusion Monster? Because it's just kind of ruining the, the trifecta right now. So, I don't like this. You went with two of these before you went with one of those? Like, come on, come on. So, uh, there you go. There's my review of Odd-Eyes Raging Dragon. Like I said, next on review on Wednesday, we'll finally look at Princess's Pendulum. I kind of pushed her back because it's like, okay, this this guy's kind of big. Like, he, he, come on. You don't get a, a Pendulum XC monster every day while well, you're just like, oh, wow, another Dark Magician support card. All right. So, we'll look at the card Wednesday. Uh, we got a lot more cards to look at. You know, we got the new Fluffles, two, two new Fluffle cards. We got the the Cybender card, so we'll probably look at those in the next upcoming weeks, but, you know, at least we got out of the dry spell for a little bit, you know, it was kind of getting a little bit dry, there's like, man, there's no cards, and then it was just like, here's the V-Jump, and then bam, there's a couple new cards, so uh, we'll definitely be looking at those, so anyway, tell me what you guys think about Odd Eyes Raging Dragon in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.